Today we're going to be doing a decapitated Marie Antoinette makeup look. For the base, I'm using a white airbrush foundation mixed with a very light liquid foundation. I didn't want to do full white foundation because the hair is white and I wanted a little bit of variation in the look. Marie Antoinette has a very like kissed, pinched cheek look. So what I'm using is a hot pink lipstick mixed with a little bit of peachy cream blush. I put white powder just to seal everything and to also bump the white a little bit. For the eyeshadow, I'm using sort of like a burgundy, smoky look. I want it to be glamorous, but I also want it to be ghoulish and do a little bit of like a sexy zombie kind of thing. For her lips, I'm gonna first cover them with concealer to get rid of her natural lip color, and then I'm gonna go in with the same color as her cream blush and give a bee stung lip. So I used a white cream makeup in her hair just to sort of take the natural color down a little and blend it into the wig. The neck prosthetic is basically a very flat balloon that will fill with blood later and then bleed. I applied it using Prosade glue, which is for makeup prosthetics, and then I added foundation in a couple of different shades to sort of draw the eye away from where the edges of the prosthetic were. Next I'm applying the wig and I'm taking the hair that I left loose and pulling it up into the wig in a style that flows with the hair that's already there. So now I'm putting in blue contacts. I really wanted something that was zombie-ish, but still pretty, but kind of ghostly and ethereal, and I liked the cloudy blue. So for mascara, I used a white cream makeup that I applied with a spoolie brush just to give it sort of this ethereal, ghoulish look. I rigged the neck piece with blood tubing that goes down her back to a squeeze bottle, which squeezes the blood up through the tube and around through the neck piece. I'm cutting a channel through it so that the blood has some place to go once I pump it through. So I was sort of hoping the blood would go all the way around the prosthetic, but it just came out the one opening side. So what I had to do then was go in and just add blood from the rest of the neck. You want to see yourself? I do. All right. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Were the contacts worth it? Totally worth it. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked. I look like a zombie, but a <laughs> sexy zombie. But like a hot zombie. I was inspired to create this look just because I like doing historical looks and I like doing effects and this one combines both because you get the glam and the blood.